Are you the type of person that never feels confident to speak English? You always think that your English sucks or that it's not good enough, that people are gonna make fun of you, therefore you avoid establishing an English conversation or speaking in public? If that's your case, or at least one of the things I mentioned previously, I have five tips to help you to improve your confidence when speaking English. <laughs> Sup guys, Natalie here and the first tip is body language and here we can split into three topics. Showing up a good posture is very important to your confidence in a range of situations. A study of Harvard's researcher Amy Cuddy, even after some harsh criticisms, proved to be legit, talked about the importance of our posture to our confidence. So whenever you're going to speak English to whomever it is, even if you're feeling kind of nervous, stand up straight. It shows that you know what you're doing, even if you think you don't. Looking people in the eyes is a way to show that you're confident regarding what you're talking about. When we don't look people who we're talking to in the eyes, it demonstrates that we're shy, ashamed of what the other person is going to think about us, or that we're intimidated, and maybe even show that we don't know what we're doing. People won't be interested in talking to you or paying attention to what you're talking about if you don't speak clearly. And here I'm not talking about having an accent or making mistakes, because that's absolutely normal. But making yourself clear, making yourself heard, having a good diction are going to make the conversation flow better, leading you to feel more comfortable and good about yourself and consequentially enhancing your confidence. The second topic is actually connected to the first one, that is, don't be afraid of making mistakes. Firstly, making mistakes is part of the learning process. That's why children learn languages fast, because they are not afraid of making mistakes and of speaking out what they judge as right. Secondly, we can learn from our mistakes, especially if we're open to corrections and suggestions of well-intentioned people. Because the more we know, the more confident we will become. The more we hide and avoid practicing English, the less skilled we will be in English and this will pull our confidence down. The third tip is reading out loud. I used to do that with a English book that I have at home or reading out loud scientific articles from the internet about a certain topic. Always pretending that I was reading to somebody else or to a group of people in front of me. And I would play the role like it was real. It will help you to project your voice better, learn how to avoid stuttering, and here you can also put into practice the posture technique that I mentioned before. As the saying goes, fake it till you make it. Hey, if you're enjoying the tips and if you want to help me out, subscribe to my channel and comment on what you want to see in the next video. Your opinion is very important to me. The fourth tip is stop apologizing. <laughs> I remember the first time I gave a presentation in college to an Australian teacher. The first thing I said was, sorry in advance for any mistakes. <laughs> that was one of the most stupid things that I've said in my entire life. Because she was the one in my country she didn't speak my language and I spoke her language. So I certainly shouldn't be apologizing for anything. So if you want to show confidence, don't apologize. If you make a mistake, whatever. At least you're able to speak another language and you put in work to speak as best as you can. Five and last tip. Don't mind stupid people. Exactly. When someone comes around and make fun of you because of your accent or because you made a mistake, this person is so ignorant and brainless that doesn't even deserve your attention. They probably just speak their own language and maybe poorly. 
I'm not saying that there is a problem with speaking just your native language. But if a nice and normal native speaker sees a non-native speaker who's trying to speak their language having any trouble with it, they probably gonna help, not mock the person. Well, the main message here is don't be afraid of speaking English because I'm pretty sure that if you're learning it, it's to communicate with other people and not to keep it to yourself. As always, don't forget to subscribe and leave in the comments down below if you have any difficulties regarding speaking English or confidence. I would love to know. I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.